here, please, sir. Right through that gate, right there in the front, wherever you are. You want to raise your right hand to be sworn? Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you shall give in this matter will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will help you, God? You can put your uh, hand down. Please state your true and correct name for the record. I'm sorry? State your name for the record. Dr. Malu Money. Okay. And sir, how are you employed? Can you spell his name? Sure. Can you spell your name for us? Uh, last name is Yam A Yan I. First name B A L U. Okay. And Dr. Mani, um, what kind of work do you do? What kind of work I do? Yes. Uh, I'm a radiologist. And how long have you been a radiologist? Uh, more than 35 years. And where did you first, uh, where did you first uh, get your education in radiology? Uh, in India. And how long have you been in the United States? Uh, 30, 40 years. And were you also practiced, uh, are you also licensed to practice medicine here in the United States? Yes, sir. And are you a practicing radiologist? Yes, sir. All right. And uh, where, where is your current practice? I practice in um, Riverdale, Upper Riverdale Road, next to Southern Regional Medical Center. I'm sorry, can you say the last part? Mm, uh, Upper Riverdale Road, next to Southern Regional Medical Center. Next to Southern Regional Medical Center, okay, great. Um, and do you sometimes read uh, x-rays for um, hospitals? Hospital? Yes. I used to be working in a hospital until 2017, so I was in the hospital. In 2015, where were you working? Um, Piedmont Henry Hospital. So Piedmont Henry Hospital. All right. And did you have? Did you read some X-rays regarding a patient by the name of Layla Daniel? I don't remember exactly, but I've been shown the X-rays I read by you. Okay, and the name is actually on there, correct? The name of the patient. Um, I don't remember the patient name. Sure. Let me, look, let me have you look at State's Exhibit 124. It's behind you. Yeah. Do you see, uh, do you see the patient's name? Lila Murray Daniel. Okay. And are you the radiologist who read the, uh, the x-rays in this case? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and so I, we're kind of looking, what kind of um, x-rays, um, was it, let me ask you this, was it the full body? No, x-ray the whole body, you're correct. X-ray the whole body, okay. So I'll show you State's Exhibit 125. This is just an x-ray of the skull, correct? Yes, sir. All right. How about 126? Was there also an x-ray done? And if we could have the lights just come down. Is this also an x-ray that you've read? Yeah. Um, in, the, in State's 126, did you see anything abnormal in State's 126? I'm unable to see anything abnormal in this x-ray. Okay. How about State's 127? What kind of x-ray is this? This is a chest lateral view. Okay. And states 128. This is the entire spine lateral view. How about states 131? What kind of what what kind of X-ray is this? Uh, this is the AP view of the left lower extremity. The left lower extremity. Yes, sir. Okay. How about states 132? This is another view of the left lower extremity. So it's a lateral view of the left left lower extremity. Yes, sir. Great. Um, and these are all, you said this was a full body x-ray, correct? Yes, sir. So you're reading all of these x-rays, correct? So far in any of these x-rays, did you find anything abnormal? Not in this case so far. Okay. Stage 133, what are we looking at here? The, the AP view of the pelvis and the upper thigh area. Okay. So that was the AP the, view, you said? Yeah. And so that would be anterior posterior, correct? Correct. Um, and if I'm correct, that means it would be shot from, the x-ray machine would be in front of the person and shot back from the experiment in front of you and the filming behind you. Okay. How about states exhibit 134? What are we looking at here? This is the um, view of the right upper extremity. And is this just another view of the right extremity? Yes, sir. All right. Anything abnormal in states 134? No, not in this. All right. What are we looking at in states 136? This is a AP view of the right lower extremity, and there is an old or subacute fracture of the proximal tibia. So you said you see an older uh, uh, fracture of the proximal tibia? Yes, sir. Okay. And um, give you the, 
of the later ones here, but I'll give you this pointer. Um, what are we looking at here when you said you're, there's an older fracture of the left or the right uh, proximal tibia? If you look at here, there is the actual bone here, and it is the new bone or the bone that's being formed after a fracture has been there. So what happens is when you have a fracture, the, the, the covering of the bone leaks blood, and the blood contains cells that can become bone. So these are new bones that are being formed to make the bridge the gap between the broken bone to join together. Okay. And does this bone look like look like it is healing? Yes, sir. It's healing? It is healing? Oh, it's healing, yeah. Okay. It has been there for at least a few weeks. At least a few weeks? Yeah. Great. And is this stage 137? Is this just another view of that same extremity? It's hard to see, but you can see the new bone formation affected behind the proximal tibia. I want to go ahead and show you states 130. Um, what are we looking at in states 130? This is the APB of the left upper extremity, and this is, there is a fracture of the, this is called ulna, we call it radius. There's a mid ulnar fracture. If you look carefully, there are fuzzy areas around the fracture, basically meaning there is healing that's happening. <coughs> and from that, can you can you give it a can you when does healing when can you start to see healing on an X-ray? About about how long until you uh, it, initially after the fracture you develop blood pool there and the blood pool there are cells that are supposed to form newborns to to uh, bridge the board. So this should be at least two weeks one week to two weeks old to have this kind of fracture. The, the bone, even though the cells are there, the cell to become a bone, it takes at least one to two weeks. So this is at least two weeks old fracture. Okay, at least the two weeks old. How about at the other end? Can you say, can you give an approximation as to, right. it, it probably is no more than X number of weeks. Right, but in one to three weeks age. So the, the, uh, this bone is approximately this break is approximately one to three weeks age. Oh. Sorry? This break is approximately one to three weeks correct. old. Correct. Correct. Okay. And is it states one one twenty nine? Are we looking at the same extremity? It's the same uh, fracture, looking at in an opposite angle, and you can see the same thing. You can see a fussy newborn around it, and the fracture line right there. Have you ever heard the term non-union fracture? Non-union fracture happened after a long time, the fracture, when they are not really splintered well, and the fractured bones keep rubbing on each other, then they become sclerotic, and the, the bridging callus is broken many times, and they do not look like joining, so they have a sclerotic margin. This area where I see the fracture line will become wide. So this is not a non-union, this is still a fracture in the healing process. So this is not a non-union fracture, correct? Based on my opinion, it's not non-union. Okay. Um, and do non-union fractures look anything like that? I'm sorry? Uh, do non-union fractures look like that on x-ray? No. Non-union fracture will have more sclerotic appearing fracture lines. Okay. And have in the, all the years that you've been a radiologist, have you ever seen a non-union fracture in a two-year-old patient? No. Thank you, sir. Dr. Mani, do you, um, you talked about the two arms, correct? I'm sorry? You talked about the two arms. Two arms? Yes. You talked about the, the broken arm. Broken bone, yeah. Yes. And um, do you recall having, um, written a um, an impression of that arm. Did you write an impression? I'm sure I, I write impression on my report, yes. Okay. Um, if I may ask you this, do you recall saying that this was a non-union, a fracture and non-union of the 
mid-shaft of the left ulna? Non-union basically means it's not been splintered. So it, it was a non-union fracture? It's a fracture in healing phase without a splint in place. And isn't it true that you wrote that evidence of subacute fracture and non-union of the mid-shaft of the left radius and right proximal tibia? Isn't that what you wrote? Okay, non-union basically means it is not splintered to become a closer opposition, so they, uni they unite faster. Do you recall having called it a non-union <coughs> fracture? Fracture and non-union of the mid-shaft? Um, it's possible. It's possible. Would it help you to refresh your recollection to look at that? Oh, you can show me the report, yeah. Do you have a paper copy? I don't, Your Honor. I could make a paper copy. Well, Quickly. we're going to need a paper copy. Okay. Your Honor, if I could have about five minutes and... <coughs> okay. Um, let me get a sense for how much longer we have with this witness. Not much. Just, not much? If the parties will agree that what's on the screen is something that um, he can view, in other words, that it's authentically the document that we produced and made part of the record, uh, then I don't have a problem with this procedure so long as when we're through with court today, there's an agreement and stipulation to supplement the record of this piece of paper. Is there any objection to proceeding like that? No, no. All right, let's go ahead. Let me show you copy of the medical report and see if your impression is that's a non-union of the mid-shaft. Yes. Thank you. I have nothing further. What did you mean in your report when you wrote non-union? Can you explain that to us? The fracture um, bone is not opposed to each other. They are separated by a few millimeters. So essentially, if I'm correct, the, the bone is not one piece. Not opposed to each other. Okay. So is what you wrote in here different than the term non-union fracture? Correct. And why is that different? Tell us. Non-union fractures are old, very old fractures that they are completed healing, but they are not really joined together. So basically they form a pseudo joint between the fractured bone. That is fracture non-union. This, this is the, maybe the term was not used correctly. This is the, Storm used to tell that the fracture lines are not opposed to each other, meaning that they are potentially um, may go into non-union if you don't put them together closely. Do you see that callus formation that you talked about on the x-ray in a non-union fracture? Non-union fractures are old fractures. They'll have a lot of callus and they'll have sclerotic appearing broken areas. Non-union fracture is different from what I meant in the report was to basically say they're not opposed to each other. They're not being splintered appropriately. So I guess my question, so let's, let's break down. So when you say non-union, you mean that they are, not, um, they are not perfectly lined up to each other? Is that correct? Non-union means the bone is not going to join to each other because there has been um, a gap between them 
forming a pseudo joint space, basically meaning that they will not ever be one unit. Is that what you see in this X-ray? No, this is a healing fracture with, with the opposing surfaces of the fracture line not being splintered appropriately. Okay. So in this particular uh, X-ray, how old do you think, how old do you, from what you can tell, how old is this fracture? The, the fracture must be at least one to two weeks old and probably not more than four or five weeks. Okay. So the term that you used in this in, in uh... Subacute fracture. Yes, this, the term you used in uh, 133, the non-union, that is different from the term non-union fracture, correct? Correct. Nothing further. Thank you, doctor. You can step down. Any objections, doctor? Not the state. Thank you.